Hi, in this video, we will going to cover creating Oracle database on Exadata Clouded Customer. In the demo, I will demonstrate how to create an Oracle database on Exadata Clouded Customer. Now, let's begin. On your Oracle Cloud Console, open the navigation menu under Oracle Database, click Exadata Clouded Customer. Now VM Clusters is selected by default. Choose your compartment and a list of VM Clusters is displayed for the chosen compartment. Click the name of the VM Cluster where you want to create the database. In the VM Cluster Details page, under Resources, Databases is selected by default. Click Create Database. Provide the requested information in the Create Database page. Specify a user-friendly name that you can use to identify the database. Optionally, you can also specify a unique name for the database. Then from the list, choose the Oracle database software release that you want to deploy. Specify the name for the first PDB. A PDB is created with a database. Next is to specify a database home. So you can select an existing database home or create a new one. Then provide and confirm the Oracle database administration password. Choose the workload type that best suits your application. Then select a backup destination for the database. You can choose none if you select to not define a backup configuration for the database. Or choose object storage if you select to store backups in an Oracle managed object storage on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. You can choose recovery appliance if you select to store backups in one of your previously defined backup destinations that uses Oracle Zero Data Loss Recovery Appliance. Or you can select to store backups in one of your previously defined backup destinations that uses network file system storage. You can also enable automatic backups to enable daily backups for your database. You can also show the advanced options. So from here, you can optionally specify the Oracle SID prefix for the database. From the list, you can also select the character set for the database. Choose a national character set. Under the backup tab, you can also set the backup retention period. So from the list, you can choose the length of time that you want the automatic backups to be retained. Optionally, you can also apply tags for your Oracle database. Now, after you have provided all the required information, you can now click Create Database. Here you will see the lifecycle state status is changed to provisioning. You can also go to the Work Request Details page for you to monitor the progress of the Oracle database creation. Then wait until the database creation process has completed successfully. So when the database creation is complete, the status will change from provisioning to available. 